Okay. <laughs> Relax. The loan was approved. We're just waiting to hear back from the owner so we can move forward on some things. But the process towards closing should move really fast. Sherry? Um, excuse me a moment. I'll be right back. Thank you. See, I told you, you worried about nothing. Oh, whatever. You were too. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. They damn me sweating a little bit. <laughs> Nothing. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, any update? Yeah, we got the loan down. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, y'all give me a call before y'all leave and we probably can go celebrate over lunch or something. All right. All right. All right I got you. All right, bye. Is everything okay? The owners decided to go with someone else. What? What do you mean they're going with someone else? Someone offered the owner above his asking price, covering closing costs. No, no, no. Tell the owner that we'll cover the closing costs. We'll take care of it. That's not a problem. These new buyers are ready to move now. You don't have the finances. No, no, no. no. I, I, I do. I mean, I've got the money saved up. Look, I was a fraud victim, okay? So I, don't, I don't like keeping my money in the bank. But I got access to 10000 right now. I can go home and get it. It's not a problem. I've got the money. Please. Please. Thank you for everything. She, she really wanted this house. Please. Hey, um, how about, how, how about we go out tonight? You know, Chinese or you know, maybe, maybe catch a movie? I don't know, baby. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood. I just want to lay down. Okay. Bet you are. Jessica. Jess. Jessica.
look, 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 take whatever you want, all right? Take whatever you want, but just don't hurt her. Don't hurt her. Look, this look, this is fucking bullshit, man. Let's let's just get out of here, all right? Let's just leave. Where's the cash? Hey, I, I don't know what cash you're talking about, man. I don't I don't have any cash. I, where is the cash? Saw your fucking face, man. Look, look at her fucking face, man. She's fucking out of here like we need to be right now. Look, they ain't got what we came here for. Let's go. No, that's enough. That's enough, man. Okay. I ain't going down for this shit. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to just go back to the repast. I know folks is probably wondering what's going on.
taste this. Can I get in the door first? I just taste it. <laughs> What's this? You like it? Yeah, it's not bad. It's mm -hmm. not bad. What's that? You believe in um voodoo and psychics and all that shit? Huh? Look, I was just at the gas station, right? I'm pumping gas, and this random woman just walked up to me. In her exact words, you and your partner deserve a child that you've yet to conceive. I know, right? And she dug in her purse, she pulls out this piece of paper, wrote this address on it, and then looked at me and said, I may be able to help. She just walked off. It's the weirdest shit ever. Okay, well, you can throw that in the trash. You don't need no demon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> nah, baby. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower. It's been a long one. Yeah. You wanna join me? Who are you? You gave my husband your information some time ago. You said you could help us? I'm sorry for bothering you. You have an aura of deep sorrow surrounding you. You're a widow. Sorry, I'm, I'm leaving. I know exactly who you are referring to. At first, I could not see it. But now I know exactly who you are. How can I help you? Appreciate it. Josh. How can I help you, detectives? You know, you've uh, been on my mind for the last couple of days. That's so. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, you haven't popped up on my radar in over two years. So sorry to disappoint you. No. No. If anything, I was proud. Thinking maybe you finally grew up, got your life in order. But 
just want to get a sliver of hope. Bam, like clockwork. I get this sobering reminder. Some people never change. We had a home invasion a couple weeks back. Man shot and killed in his own home. And I'll admit, you know, I haven't been going to the eye doctor that regularly. I am pretty sure that looks a lot like you, two doors down from the crime scene. Look, I know you like seeing me in handcuffs. I ain't the only white guy that lives in this town. True. I could pick you out in a crowded arena. Don't you worry. It's just circumstantial. Don't I have enough yet. But you know me, Josh. You know I'll get what I need in due time. Turn yourself in. Confess. Identify the others. I'll get the DA to cut you a deal. But you listen to me and you listen good. You make this hard. I'll personally make sure you get the box. All right. Good talk. Something to think about. You have a good rest of your day now. What now? Did you find any effects that were not disturbed? Have followed Good. I cannot guarantee this will work. This will be my first attempt. Many things must happen for a soul touched by death to return. He may choose to deny it. If he does return, there's no certainty that he will be as you knew him before. Go home. Rest. You must be asleep when I perform the ritual at midnight.
man. You gonna turn into a sausage egg biscuit over here, man. Man, that's why I can't wait for that damn payday. Yeah. Get this damn AC fixed. Man, you better. <laughs> Ain't seen you in a while, dude. Yeah. I just can't shake it, bro. Yeah. <sighs> Fucked up about it, too, but be honest with you, best thing we could do is move on. And I can't imagine what it's like in your shoes, either. Nick's stupid ass to move to Bama. He's staying with his sister now. You know for a fact he ain't coming back. Nope. Look, uh, just got my break, bro. I'm finna hit him back in here. I'll holler at you later. All right, man, be cool. No, you be cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Call. Did we wake you? Um, yeah. Come on in. Hi. Please have a seat. Okay. Can I get you anything? Oh, no. No, we're fine. Thank you, Mrs. Call. This is Detective Brown. He's going to be assisting me on the case. How have you been? Just taking it one day at a time. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, uh, you hurt your hand? Clumsy accident. Uh, well, the reason we're here is, um, I'd like you to take a look at this sheet. And see if any one of these men jogs a memory for you, if, if anything about any of them stands out to you, is, is familiar to you. I wish I did. Honestly, everything is still a blur. It, it's fine. It, it's okay. We have some soft leads, and there's no smoking gun yet, but I am confident that we will find the people who did this. Now, try and get some rest. You look drained. Understandably so. We'll be in touch. Oh, um, I'm sure you have Detective Casey's information. But just for some reason, if you can't get in touch with it, give me a call. Anytime, okay? Thank you.
Hello. Hey, I'm just checking on you. I ain't heard from you today. I'm okay. I haven't been feeling the best today. I actually slept most of it. Oh, okay. Well, you want to grab lunch tomorrow? Yeah, that sounds good. I thought about going into work tomorrow, but I'll just try it next week. Well, I'll stop by around 11 and we'll just make a day out of it. Sure. All right. Good night. I love you. I love you too. All right. Bye. Hmm. Jess. Jessica. Joseph. I need you to get up. Get up! your breed that you return for my bride for your sins you and everyone you love will suffer time to atone No. No. 
This is not real. Stop! Stay away from me! Taken everything from me. Now bear witness as I take everything from you. Hey Jess, what's up? Candace, I messed up. Huh? Oh my Candace, can you just come here like right now? Okay, please? okay, okay, okay. I'm on my way. <clears throat> hey, I'm on the way in. Josh's mother arrived a little late and I had to run and grab Allison some food. Can I call you back? Allison? Miss Jackie? Can I help you? Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, a suspect in your case, his car was abandoned the street over. I was just uh, making sure you're all right. But you think he's coming here? Well, him and his family were slaughtered at their house, so no, I don't think he's coming over here. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. I was just hoping I didn't come here to another scene. I'm sorry to bother you. No, you're fine. All right. We're all clear. Like I said, Joseph is back. Okay, look, he popped through my door. Okay, that's how he got in. I woke up, I heard him walking in, and I ran to the shower and hid, and that's where he found me. And then he put a gun in my face, and then that's when Joseph appeared. 
Okay. And he killed him in my bathroom. All right. Joe, Joseph sounds different and he looks like a zombie too. Okay. But it looks like him, Candace. And he's wearing exactly what we buried him in. Jess, this is too much. My head is fucking throbbing right now. I went and saw a voodoo lady. What? I just was missing Joe. I went to her and saw her for her to bring him back. Okay, but I didn't think it would work. I just wanted to see my husband. And then this happened. Okay, it was a stupid idea. I wish I never did it, but it worked and this happened. Since you got to listen to me, Joseph is back. Okay, and... He's not the same Joseph that left me. If that man really had something to do with it, Joseph is not done. He's out for blood. Mommy? What, Caitlin? Can we have pancakes for breakfast? Sure, baby. I'll be up in a minute. Okay. Nick. Nick. Yeah. Kaylin wants pancakes for breakfast, and we don't have any eggs or mix. You mind running to the store? Uh, yeah, I'll go. If you're gonna continue to stay here, I'm gonna need you to get a job or something, because a little help around here would be appreciated. Can I at least get my shit together and brush my teeth before you start bitching at me? Uh, what's up, dude? Yeah, not nothing. Just chilling. Hey, uh, can you take me to the store? I gotta get some shit. Yeah, I'm good now. If you're if you're good, yeah. All right, man. Appreciate it. Cool. Help you? Mommy, this is my friend. Excuse me. Who are you 
And how did you get in my house? Man, I owe you one. Thanks for taking me, bro. Oh, bro. It ain't nothing, man. Appreciate you, man. God, I gotta get back in here. Hey, bro. Hey. hey What's Nick. up? You mind if I... You mind if I roll up here? Because, you know, homegirl ain't left yet. You know, I kind of told her I quit. That yeah, quit? man. Yeah, be good. Don't let her catch you. Bro, she ain't gonna catch shit with this... You know what I mean? Come on, man. man. You're crazy. You're wild, bro. Hey, but buddy. I appreciate it. Hey, brother. Yeah, good seeing you, man. Good seeing you, pimp. You ash, do you want me to leave this out or put it in the fridge? Ashley, you want me to leave this out or put it in the fridge? Ashley. Oh, man. Yo, Ashley. Sleeping for real. Ashley. Ashley. This can't be fucking real. Please don't hurt me. This man, bro. Motherfuckers, man. I swear. It's like I'm. I can't do shit. Hey, Nick! Help! Help, DJ! Help me! Help! DJ, help! What's going on? What's up? What fucking tripping about? Come on, let's go. What are you doing? Are you hurt? He was just right there. What are you talking about, bro? Uh, fucking, you smoked that blunt. You tripping. Uh, Come on, let's go. What are you talking about?
I swear, man, it wasn't me. I didn't want to be in that house. It was Josh. It was all Josh. He wanted to do it. It wasn't me, man. I swear. Oh, I remember you stood by and watched. No. He was going to kill me too, man. What do you want me to do? He was going to kill me. Doing nothing does not absolve you. If he had all my wife, you would have done nothing just to save you are a weakling, since you act as if you have no backbone, then I'll just take yours. No! 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 <laughs> 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 I thought that was you. Hey, how you been? Hey, yeah, you gonna have to meet me halfway. I don't go near that house. Why? You know her? Do I know her? Yeah. You do know that Sheba house, right? Oh my yes. God. Oh, she was dead. I heard the same shit back in the day. She lived right here. You know we could find her at the one of our friends supposed to came over here and we looking for her. I mean, I heard that she be renting tarot cards out of no park, but I mean, other than that, I don't know shit and I don't want to know. Be serious. I'm just hoping she ain't talk to a friend until a goddamn bad or something. What's up? What's up, man? You hear about Josh? Man, who has it? That's what you called my here for. Look, look, before you say anything, look, listen to this shit. What? You have. Just, just listen to it, man. Yes, this message is for a Marcus Pugh. This is Officer James with Daphne Police Department in Daphne, Alabama. I'm trying to reach you in reference to Nick, uh, acquaintance of yours. If you would, give me a call. Call him back. Nick is dead, bro. Nick and his fucking sister were slaughtered last night at their house. Just like Josh and his girl. But get this. Josh's daughter was in the other room sleeping when the shit went down and the police showed up. Nick's niece was sleeping in the other room. She was down there in a fucking coma. They had to take her to the hospital to wake her ass up. So what you saying, bro? You you think this is all bullshit? You think it's you think it's a fucking coincidence or some shit? I talked to Nick the other day. He said he'd been having nightmares about that dude. I've been having nightmares too. What about you? Nah, I ain't had no nightmares. Look, I don't know what the fuck going on. And I don't believe in superstitions, I don't believe in magic, none of that. But whatever the hell is going on, it feel like we've been marked for death. We've been marked for death, we've been cursed, and whatever the hell it is that came after Nick and Josh, it's coming after us. That's why if I was you, I would get my shit and I would get the fuck up out of here. Just like I'm finna do, with me and mine. Alright, man. Alright. <laughs> Look, just hit me up, alright? I'm gonna call you. Look, call me. Alright, I'll call you. I cannot believe I spent all my childhood dodging this lady just to look for her. Well, I can go by myself. You don't have no, to No, 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 no. Hell no. I'm going with you. I know her. 
This lady is not a good person. She'll mess with your head if you let her. Yeah, well, Candace, I just need for you to trust me, okay? Okay, I'm gonna trust you. Let's go see what's up with this lady. Yes. God, I need you to undo whatever it is that you've done. What is there to undo? Okay, he's come back, but he's killing people. I need you to stop it and make him go away. What do you mean, killing people? I made a mistake. Okay, I was going through some things and I made a mistake, but I really need you to fix this. If he has returned, nothing I do can change that. I summoned him with the ritual. He came on his own wheel. He'd have to leave the same way. Okay, wait, so why does she need you? He could have just came on his own then. Please. Okay, please, him. I really need your help. The ritual itself is not enough. For a soul touched by death to return, first it must be summoned, and then it must be grounded by the blood of a living soul. I summoned him for you, but it is you who grounded him. Okay, well, is there a way to make him go away even if he doesn't want to go? Yes, there is. You must get rid of what grounded him. What's going on? Mia, what the fuck is going on? He has a baby. Who? You're supposed to be dead, man. Nick? Josh, it was... It was you, you... How the fuck are you still alive? Because of you, 
My wife's life was spared from your accomplice. And for that, I will spare your family. But for your sins, the time has come to atone. You gave me back my baby. You promised. Thank you for doing my hair, sis. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh, well, and thanks for going with me to find Sheba. I don't know what I was thinking. You probably think I'm crazy, huh? No, I don't think you're crazy. I just wish you would talk to me before you do crazy shit like this. We used to be so close. We talked about everything. But these last couple of years, I barely even know who you are anymore. You expecting somebody? No. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry. Um, can we talk to my prior? Please have a seat. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Oh, no, thank you. I'm fine. Uh, listen, Jessica, I need to be honest with you. Okay. Do you have any involvement in this case in any way? Wait, no. Do you know the people who did this? Are you just not telling me? Look, I have told you everything I know. Okay. Do you know of anybody who is uh, trying to investigate this case themselves? No. What's going on? Honestly, I don't know. But I do know that me and Detective Casey have worked extremely hard on this case. At the point we have four suspects identified, but every time we try to uh, interrogate them, someone doesn't let that happen. Do you believe in the supernatural? Evil? I see evil every day. But if you're talking about demons and ghosts, I can't say I do. Yeah. Jessica, I need to find Brandon. Wait, Brandon? Would he had something to do with this? Well, I haven't seen or talked to Brandon, okay? He didn't even come to the funeral. Which explains a lot. I'm not a lie. I'm also out of options. Now, I need to get to Brandon before whoever got to these gets to him. I'm not sure of his involvement in this case, but I can say for certain I know he wasn't one of the men in the house. So, um... He turns himself in, I can keep him safe. 
Can't get the word to him. Okay. Is there anything else I can do to help, Detective? No. Be all. Okay. Thank you. Where's Brandon? At my house, why? Right, he just told me that all of the men are dead and that Brandon is a suspect. Okay, if it's true, if Brandon really was involved, then where do you think Joseph is headed? And that's what Joseph did. I can't believe that. Hey, what am I supposed to do? What's up, what's up, what's up? I thought you was leaving. Nah, I'm all drunk, tripping. Keisha decided to take him off. And Keisha couldn't take you afterward? Damn, you act like you want me gone or something. Bro, it made you straight, man. Ain't that right, babe? But anyway, I'm about to put up the rest of this food. If you want something to eat, you better fix it yourself. That came from... Let me get my half for the food. I promise I'll get you back. I promise. Hey, hey, hey. Don't worry about that. I got that. Are you sure? Just don't tell Janice. Hey, Joey. All got, right. Joey, you. you ain't got to do that, man. I ain't trying to get that woman nothing else to fuss about. Anyway, I'm going here and help my sister. How's she going to fuss about what she don't know? I got it. I don't know, just put a lot of money on that lawyer just to find out that you wouldn't keep him the real one. But she'll get over it. Look, bro. I don't want you to do Okay? Look, I know it's nothing flashy about walking the straight and narrow, but at least he's free. Yeah, I feel you. I got him out there. Just give me a second. This is Joseph. Uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, my 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 MacBook's in the car. Give me give me one second.
all that I have left. I can't let you take her. You come near me, or you hurt her, I'll do it. Everything from us. Greed. You've sacrificed to them. And they repaid you with betrayal. Joseph, yes, okay, I, I made a mistake. This isn't you. Stop this and go back to wherever you came from. Okay, if you really love me, if you truly love me and all this is for me, then go. Be at peace. The truth. She Exactly how I expected. No jury is ever going to believe that that girl slaughtered those people. DA won't touch it. Chief is making me hold a press conference to announce that we're increasing the awards for tips. We're just saving face at this point. Well, I mean, you could always get a warrant to exhume the husband. Check to see if he's still in there. You're amazing at a lot of things. Comedy's not one of them. <laughs> I actually showed a picture of him to the girl who left. Hey. Seriously? You alright? She identified it. Trust me. I get that this my dead husband did a thing is nuts, I get it. But I'd be lying. Photographs dead husbands. Sorry about that. going on look I had, my childhood was a lot different than yours so I'm not gonna pretend to know exactly how you feel I'm okay I'm just tired look we been married less than six hours let's not start lying to each other now you're right I'm sorry I'm just a little bit disappointed, but I'll be okay. 
I'm saying, like, you, you knew Brandon wasn't going to come as soon as you invited him. And Candace is, it's like all she can do is just be jealous anytime you accomplish something that she hasn't. Don't let their issues ruin our happiness. Okay? Get out. Huh? Get out. Look, I wasn't really feeling uh, our dance earlier. So I want to redo. <laughs> out here? Yeah. I want you to know that from this point moving forward, you don't have to face anything alone. I don't want you to worry about or fear anything. My priority is to protect you from anything that tries to harm you till death do us part. Really, death ain't even that strong. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to see Candace. Okay, just sign it on the table for me and I'll go get her. Candace. Your sister's here. Hey, hey. Candace? I'll be in my office. Just let me know when you're all finished and I'll go out. Okay. Were you asleep? <laughs> nah, just chilling in my room. No. Okay. Oh. Thank you. It's probably cold. <laughs> At this point, I don't care. So, how are you doing? I'm doing better. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing a new doctor and I actually like this one better than I like the last one. So, how long do you think you gotta stay in here? They say a few more weeks, but I've heard that before. But how you doing? I'm okay. I don't see how. But you, you always were the strong one. Can I ask you something? When Joseph said that you helped Brandon. Jessica, I was in a really bad place at that time in my life. Brandon didn't know those men had those guns on them. Joe was supposed to tell me 
before you guys were home that day. That whole thing just went left. Joseph loved me. Like, really loved me. I didn't know how much I needed that until I met him. I mean, our mom, God rest her soul, she didn't know what it was. Dad beat her more than he beat us. I I guess I, I don't understand how we go through so much together and grow up divided. But I forgive you, Candace. It's no sense of holding all this anger and pain. I got to free myself. But I can't stay here long today. I just came by. I'll see you in two weeks. I'll see you in two weeks. She's ready. Bye, Candace. Bye, Jessica. Hello? 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 Time to atone.